our mountain snowpack is a fraction of what it should be right now. And state leaders are warning this El Nino year could mean drought conditions well into spring and summer. All this week, our Environment Northwest team is looking at the shrinking snowpack and its impact in Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. Tonight, our meteorologist Leah Pizzetti shows us where things stand in the Cascades. You hear the headlines, warmest year on record, hottest summer, and yes, those are noteworthy events, but some Northwest researchers are discovering that it's other overlooked periods that may be more significant and have a domino effect on things like snowpack moving forward. Let's go do it. These ski instructors <laughs> are in their element. Thank you. In the elements. And it was snowing outside the building earlier. Which so far this year haven't been ideal. We could really use some cooperation from Mother Nature. Jim Smith's father founded ski school Snow Sports Northwest at Snoqualmie Pass in the 60s. So it's doing the trick. Scott Goddard yep. was hired by his dad in the 80s. You know, remember we're, uh, we're trying to put 100 and 50 kids onto a much smaller area right now. Yep, it, it's so. condensing the area because of the lack of available runs. In their decades here, they've seen good and bad years. They knew El Nino meant this year wouldn't be great, and it's not. The USDA shows Washington's snow in the Cascades sits around half of normal, and the Olympics sits less than a third of normal. We're less than half of what we had last year for sure. Now they're navigating the terrain. It almost makes me think that we might have to move the season out. But even the good recent years don't compare to their childhood, growing up skiing this same mountain. We're consistently every year up here in the middle of November. We've lost the month on either end of the season. The timeline of that gradual melting is a subject Washington State University's PhD candidate Luke Reyes is devoting his studies to. Every year there seems to be these new sort of extreme events and record record seasons or months. His team's newly published research initially set out to analyze the impacts of the Northwest 2021 heat dome on the snowpack when temperatures skyrocketed into triple digits for days straight and killed hundreds in the Northwest. People would post like before and after pictures of who would be hiking on Mount St. Helens or Mount Rainier and there'd be snow one day and then there was nothing there a week later. But when they looked at the numbers, they realized something huge. The heat dome is not the reason the snow melted that year. That was still mostly gone by the time the heat dome arrived, which suggested to us that something else might have been happening. Weaker, less headline worthy periods of warm temperatures chipped away at the snowpack before the heat dome arrived. Events that have doubled in frequency since the 90s. Sometimes these short term, you know, really acute events can be overlooked. That warming is having an impact here in the Northwest. Data from the EPA shows that Washington's snowpack has been decreasing significantly since the 1950s. On average, anywhere from 20 to 30 percent, but in some cases, as much as 50 to 60 percent. And projections show that due to warming temperatures, a lot of that winter precipitation will fall as rain instead of snow, further reducing the snowpack. And the snow season is shortening too. Peak snowpack usually hits on April 1st, but in recent years, that's changed. Anywhere from one to three weeks earlier now. And it's not just the snowpack, it's glaciers also. One recent study projects that all glaciers on the Olympic Peninsula will be gone by 2070 with a similar situation in the Cascades. A University of Washington report projects the snow season in the Cascades to decrease by half by the end of the 21st century, dropping from the historical 142 days of snow in the late 1900s to 87 days by the 2080s. And while these pros are navigating the decline and adjusting their teaching timeline, they're not stopping. I haven't worked a day since I started in the ski business. Yeah, who, who else can talk about this is my office right here, right? Hoping that with every lesson taught and mountain skied, yeah. they're teaching kids to be in their element, <laughs> in the elements. Just keep plugging along and waking up every day and looking for that, that next dump, you know? I mean, that's also fascinating right mm -hmm. here in the Cascades. So you talked about long term, but what's happening short term, like 
the rest of this year, for example. Yeah, you've probably heard us say it. This El Nino pattern is expected through at least spring, meaning dry and warm. The Department of Ecology actually just put out an alert saying last year's drought advisory is still in effect and will likely stay that way into the summer. And as you heard, we're seeing rain instead of snow. And with such a heavy reliance on snowpack for our water through the rest of the year, leaders are continuing to warn people to prepare now for a dry year ahead. Joyce which we could see in spring and summer, as yeah. you already told us. Yep. All right. Thanks, Leah.